My name is Judy Younger, and I'm very excited to have this opportunity on Insight Timer to talk about my music, healing, and grief. I found music again after many years of sadness, and when I did, it completely changed my life. Much of my music is an expression of my grief and my love. If my music comforts anyone, then I feel inspired, uplifted, and blessed. Nothing means more to me than to share the music that transformed my life. My son Jason died in 1992. Later on, I learned that his name meant healer. I hold on to that. I am not a healer, but I do believe in healing. My music healed me, and I never imagined that was possible when I was suffering. Jason was my first child. He had a congenital heart defect, and he lived until the age of five. He loved music, and he used to play his own little guitar. I would sing to him. After he died, I never thought I'd sing again. For those of you in grief, I wish I could hug you and tell you it will be okay. I remember it well. It was so hard. The endless longing, aching, excruciating pain, inability to concentrate. I died when he did. But one day, I was able to crawl out of that grave. Music came to me during a very challenging time. It wasn't a time I'd imagine I'd be singing and playing my guitar again. I had carried my grief for decades, and I had challenging teenagers, sick parents, an unhappy marriage, and unending stress. My mother was in the hospital again, and I started to lose it. So I opened my heart and began to write to all my friends. I was sharing those messages with everyone I knew. I received so much love and support back, and it just fueled me. Suddenly, I didn't feel alone anymore. Since sharing my feelings had helped me so much, I wanted to continue writing. I began a blog, and it was around that time when a good friend asked me if I ever played my guitar anymore. She remembered when I used to play back in high school. It got my curiosity going. One night when I was alone, I pulled it out and tried to play again. It had been so many years. I loved my guitar when I was a young girl, and I used to write songs, but I wasn't sure if I could remember any of them. The song that I chose to play was named Beside Me Always. Even though I hadn't sung it for many years, I had read the lyrics at Jason's funeral. As I sang, it was like a spiritual experience. I felt such joy come back into me, and that was the beginning of my healing. At first, I wanted to remember all the songs I wrote as a young girl, there was so much for me to learn about music after not doing it for 30 years. I took voice lessons, and then I found an arranger. I began to record all of my songs because I never wanted to forget them again. As I continued to create music, my whole life began to change. I felt happy, and that was when Jason returned to me. Every time I sang, I could feel him. That just helped for me to heal. Eventually, I began to write new songs. I channeled all of my pain, and I wrote songs I lived through, songs I related to. I sang Set You Free to both my parents when they were dying. It was even more profound when I realized that that song was for me. I had set myself free from grief. I believe that meditation is a moment in life where you can breathe deeply, reflect, and dispel the noise. I have a song named Music Saved Me, and it was inspired by the line of When Noise Turned to Music. When noise turned to music in my life, everything changed and I completely transformed. Originally, I created my meditation album to go with my soon-to-be-released audiobook that tells my story. A year ago, I was contacted by Insight Timer, and I jumped at the opportunity to freely share my album. 
from the beginning i received beautiful messages from all over the world i have found wonderful friendships within the community of insight timer so far i've shared how i rediscovered music and it helped to heal me but on the topic of meditation and grief i honestly feel inadequate i didn't listen to music or meditate after my son died i wish i had so i decided to ask some of my insight timer friends for their input to tell me how meditation has helped them with their grief one friend told me that when her husband was dying his medical team introduced him to insight timer when she felt anxious she began using it as well meditation helped her stay calm and centered and helped her even more after he passed here are some other messages i received meditation takes me where i feel close to my angels i feel so calm as if i am sitting on clouds with them next to me meditation has helped me connect to my body to keep awareness even when i am doing unhealthy things it gives me a connection to my spirit and the ability to be open to messages from my daughter though it can be painful i'm still struggling each day with profound grief but i keep at it in the hours after my daughter's death it was all i could do meditation has taught me the importance of shining the light of awareness on pain all pain not just grief but emotional pain and physical pain too sitting with taking a look at allowing and listening to the pain takes away an element of discomfort when pain gets my attention and i stop fighting it it lightens a bit it wants to be seen and heard and welcomed make friends with your pain get to know it it has something to say to you this last message gave me an epiphany that is exactly how i feel when i compose one of my songs people tell me my music sounds very sad how could i be happy creating such melancholy music it's because my music addresses my pain and i release it when i sing one of my songs i feel like i'm sitting on a cloud with my angels i am so happy that i found a loving audience on insight timer that appreciates my music even without words my feelings are felt with every note i do love to sing and i will continue to create music with and without lyrics each day i wake up with gratitude that my life changed when i opened my heart thank you again for listening and allowing me to share my heart with you